good morning everybody today is saturday june 8th and it is a extremely busy day so i'm currently doing my makeup um we are leaving for mexico me and omar um in the morning super early in the morning so we're gonna get like zero sleep but um the thing is i still have to pack and get ready today and um we actually have a wedding to attend tonight as well. Omar is the best man in his best friend's wedding. So we are going to a wedding tonight. This wedding starts at 7.30 p.m. So it's going to be a late wedding. So I'm just going to try to get everything done before the wedding. That way we can just like at least sleep for a couple of hours before we have to get on the flight. But um, we kind of booked like a last minute trip to Mexico. I just get super antsy whenever we're home for too long. Like I just need to go somewhere. <laughs> I need to get out of this town. So I'm super excited. It's just gonna be a chill vacation. We've been to Cabo before. I think it was maybe two years ago. So we're just gonna have a super chill, like actual vacation. I mean, I'm gonna be creating content there while I'm there obviously, cause like I just can't help it. Like it's just gonna be so beautiful. Um, but I don't have like any plans. Like I just wanna eat really good food i want to relax but yeah i'm just looking forward to a really relaxing vacation but today is super super busy and hectic i'm also going to be taking leo to my parents house he and uh, we brought him over there a few times just to get used to it and he's scared every single time but this time he's gonna have to stay for a few days but my parents are so excited i swear they act like he's their grandchild like especially my dad he like literally acts like he's my son <laughs> So they love him so much and they're gonna take really good care of him Really not sure what I'm gonna wear to this wedding because you guys know like for our Arab weddings We wear like all glam like sequined long ball gowns basically um, but to these like American weddings, it's much more low-key Sometimes I mean especially in the south people be wearing like some cowboy boots So I just need to figure out what I'm gonna wear I don't want to be like a hijabi and way overdressed and just draw like so much attention to myself So we'll see what I'm gonna wear I really need to figure out my lighting situation because I feel like every time I do my makeup I have you guys like away from the light and so you can't really see like the full effect of my makeup and then I just have to kind of show it to you afterward but anyways I'm loving um, this hourglass bronzer this is luminous bronze light it's a really nice beautiful glowy bronze and it's not too dark or anything which I love so how was everyone's Eid we had a really good time because my cousin from Canada is visiting Rima and we just had so much fun just catching up with her and it was just so chill we ate a lot we took a nap we watched a movie at the house it was super chill and we just had a really good time um but i really loved seeing your um eid looks um that you guys tagged me in on instagram a bunch of you guys had recreated a bunch of my outfits for eid and that just makes me so happy like you have no idea how much i love seeing your outfit recreations it just makes me so happy so if you guys have any more outfit recreations don't forget to tag me on instagram a lot of you guys are um sending me through dms which is fine but um putting it in your story or like if, you, if it's already on your feed and like tagging me, then um, it's easier for me to repost in my stories. Oh, another thing. Okay, so on my stories the other day, I, okay, so I saw um, Irene Sarah do this in her stories where she like asked um, everyone what items of clothing or like products she's inspired her audience to purchase. So I really wanted to like hear from you guys, like things that you bought because I recommended I can see some of that stuff in my analytics but like how often do you like actually buy something from a link a lot of times you'll buy things in store or you won't use the link or something like that so I just wanted to ask you guys what you guys bought and of course I got like a bunch of products like a bunch of you bought um the Becca backlight priming filter this is my favorite primer I haven't used this one in a little while but it's still my favorite primer i just haven't been using primers recently but this is my fave and then a bunch of you bought the bare minerals complexion rescue this one is so good so if you haven't tried this one it's like an amazing tinted moisturizer 
But then I started getting so many messages saying that a bunch of you guys bought Bengal cats and that just blew my mind because Bengal cats are a little bit, I mean, they're expensive. They're not like something like $30, like a skincare product or something. Um, and they're a huge like investment in your time and like in your life. So the fact that a bunch of you guys got Bengal cats just, oh my God, I was like, just dying like i could not believe it and then you guys sent me pictures of your bangles and they're so cute those little babies oh my god i was dying if you guys got a bangle then we should all just like start a bingo club i swear <laughs> after i run errands i really want to share with you guys a little bit of what i'm packing with me i may share with you guys what's in my carry-on we're just gonna see what i have time for and all that good stuff but yeah i'm gonna finish up my makeup and I will see you guys in just a second. Okay, I just got finished getting ready and I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna keep this makeup for tonight. I'm just, I may have to like set a little bit with some powder, but I'm hoping that I don't have to do anything else to my face today because I have a lot to do. So I'm gonna go run to Target. I have to also go by Best Buy to get a charger for my GoPro because I left it in Dubai and I haven't been able to use it since. So I really wanna bring it to Mexico and then um, I'll probably just come back and start packing. So I have been running around all day. I'm sorry I haven't vlogged. I'm really, really trying to make this into a good video for you guys, but okay. So basically I have everything ready. I have everything um, ready to pack, but I wanted to show you guys what is in my carry-on and a few things that I'm packing. And then I'm gonna get myself a dress to go to the wedding. So it's about six o'clock right now. Um, my mom and sisters, I think are gonna stop by in just a little bit to get Leo. He's actually underneath my chair right now. <laughs> He's so cute. So I need to leave the house in about an hour. So let me go ahead and show you guys what is in my bag. So this is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM size. So this is the medium and I feel like the medium is the perfect size for me. The bigger one just seems like way too big and the small one is just like way too small. So the MM is perfect. This is the Damier Eben. It's like a canvas leather with these dark brown straps. So I feel like this material and color just like never wears. It just looks perfect at all times and I've traveled with this thing so many times so I'm loving that it's holding up very well. One thing that I've done to try to keep its shape is I added a felt liner inside the bag. I don't know if you guys can tell but it's this pink liner and it has some compartments and pockets and things and it really helps keep its shape. So I got that off Amazon and it's super helpful to have that for any bag, not just this one. They have those liners to fit any bag to keep their shape. So I will link that down below for you guys. So since this trip is just like a four day trip and we're just going to Mexico, this isn't like a long haul flight. I think the flight is maybe like I don't know, like two and a half or three hours. So to me, that is like nothing. <laughs> I'm used to like the 14 hour flight. I'm used to like really long haul flights. So I am gonna still be bringing a lot of stuff with me, but I'll tell you guys what I would add if I was on a long haul flight. That way it can kind of be a little helpful for some of you who may be taking some long trips this summer. Starting with the little compartment that the bag comes with. I think it's super nice that this bag actually comes with this little pocket because I always put the... Um, passports in there so that's my little passport holder and um, I also put any other like travel documents or anything in this little pouch so it's super handy I love putting things in compartments so I got these beautiful leather um, pouches from a brand called Kuyana and I found them on Instagram and their stuff is just so gorgeous and such good quality So I love these little pouches for travel in the small one I have a bunch of like my little toiletries and stuff normally on like a long-haul flight I would bring a few extra items, but for this I just brought like the bare minimum. So so this is the deodorant that I use it is a um, Aluminum free deodorant by Jason's and I get the apricot scent or the lavender scent This one is apricot and I've been using this for years and it really works for me it's clear and I've had no problems at all and I'm, I like that it's more of a natural deodorant and I don't normally wear makeup on the flight so I brought like a little travel size moisturizer and honestly I may even use this as like a little hand cream or something because it's just a short flight but normally for like a long haul flight I would bring like some makeup wipes some um, moisturizer cleanser sprays like all the good stuff but for this I'm just bringing a little moisturizer I'm also bringing a little chapstick this one just happens to be by a brand called DHC they are a Japanese beauty brand that sent me some stuff and their lip balm is really really good I have to have a hand sanitizer I love that this one has a pump and yeah 
on a plane a hand sanitizer is a necessity i'm not like a huge germaphobe except when i'm traveling so definitely this is a must this is my little rollerball La Vie Estebel by Lancome perfume. This is like my signature scent. So I always like to bring a little rollerball perfume with me. I'll probably just bring this like as my perfume for the trip. Um, just so I don't have to bring like a big bottle. And I love this perfume. It's like my fave. I never leave the country without a little pack of medicines. I put like some pain medicine in here. I put some Benadryl in here. I have just a bunch of little medicines that I always take with me just in case anything happens. You never know and you don't want to be caught out in another country without medicines that you need. So I always bring that. The other pouch is empty right now because I'm going to be putting my tech in here. I'm going to put my vlog camera that I'm using right now. I'm going to put my phone and then I have my headphones in here. Um, and then what else is going to go in here? Um, some like my phone charger and like my portable charger and things like that. So I always put like my big tech items in here. I have to bring a pack of baby wipes with me when I travel every single time. It's such a necessity for me. Um, when you're going to the bathroom, when you need to wipe your hands, when you just like are out and about and you need like something I have to have some wipes with me I'm always prepared with a pen just in case I need to fill out like custom documents or anything like that what else is in here? These are my little sunnies that I have. These are by a brand called Ilisteva, Ilisteva, something like that. But I loved the cat eye and the nude color. These are going to be so cute in photos for Mexico. I have my wallet and I think that is it, you guys. I'm trying to think of the items that I left out like as if I was going on like a long haul flight. For long haul flights, I always bring a pair of fuzzy socks. That way I'm like comfy while I'm sitting in my seat and I can just take off my shoes and relax. Um, what else? Um, I'll always bring a toothbrush and toothpaste, like a mini toothbrush and toothpaste because yeah, you just definitely don't want to be on a plane for 14 hours or whatever and not be able to brush your teeth. I will be able to fit my laptop in here um, as well. So I think that's everything that is in my bag. My mom actually just got here. So I'm gonna go see her and give her Leo and I will talk to you guys in just a little bit. So here is a little sneak peek of the dresses that I'm bringing with me. I always put together a color palette of clothing that kind of complement each other. So these dresses right here are from Twice Boutique. I talked to you guys about them in my Eid lookbook and I'm obsessed. I think these two are part of their Eid collection, but they're perfect for summer. And then this is a beautiful um, wrap dress that I'm going to have open, like kind of like a kimono um, that I got from Express. I love this color. I actually have never worn this color before. It's a really beautiful mustardy satin. I'm going to wear the kimono with my white jumpsuit underneath it and then i'm bringing my anna hariri boho maxi dress it's just like the perfect summer hijabi dress and then these are some satin wide leg palazzo pants from forever 21 and then this is my h&m pleated tunic that i'm gonna wear with it this is a beautiful olive green maxi dress from hijab house so all of these dresses and beautiful items are coming with me i just have a bunch of neutral hijabs hanging here i'm probably just gonna bring them all and then just figure out which ones match the dresses and everything when i get to mexico for skincare sunday riley sent me a really cute package at the beginning of the summer with this beautiful little travel case so it's perfect for my skincare um okay so i actually don't use these very much anymore. They're the makeup remover wipes by Neutrogena. I actually used to use these all the time, but I figured they would be just super easy for travel. So I'm bringing a pack of those. When Sunday Riley sent over this package, a little mini good jeans came inside and I'm super obsessed with this product. So I was so happy to have a mini version to take with me on my trip. They also included this Tidal moisturizer that I've never tried before and I figured since it's mini and I don't need that much, I'll just try it out while I'm on vacation. This right here is my favorite SPF for the face. This is the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergoop. It's SPF 40. I've talked to you guys about this so many times, I feel like it's clear and it goes perfectly under makeup. So that is all of my skincare, you guys. I wanted to keep things super simple and super just minimal and not have to have too much fuss while I'm on vacation. So this is my makeup bag. I'm also bringing the bare minimum of products because I do not like to wear heavy makeup when I'm on vacation. I just like to, for my skin to be able to breathe as much as possible and I will wear makeup like when I'm going out to dinner or when we want to take pictures or something, but nothing too heavy. So this is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue that I know you guys know that I love. I'm bringing the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer just to have a little bit of coverage. And then I'm gonna set it all with the Translucent Powder by Kat Von D. 
Oh, this is my favorite eyeshadow palette I've been using for months. This is the ColourPop Give It To Me Straight palette. It's so affordable, such good quality, and the colors are stunning. I've shown you guys this palette so many times, but this is all I've been using. Um, Mary Luminizer, and then L'Oreal Telescopic. These are all my faves, you guys. Just everything that I've been using. Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer and Ambient Bronze Light. Love this. I literally just brought the bare minimum of makeup and skincare so that I don't have to worry about too many big products coming with me. I can just take only exactly what I need. For my accessories, okay, so I'm obsessed with the strappy sandal trend. I know you guys have seen strappy sandals all over Instagram, and the best ones that I found are from Zara. They are so cute, so I have these gold ones. These are actually not very comfortable, I'm not gonna lie. This part kind of bothers my foot a little bit, but the more that I wear them, the more comfortable they're becoming. I think the leather just, or whatever this is, not real leather probably, just needs to soften a little bit and it's getting better, but these were actually pretty comfortable for me um, right away. So I see everybody wearing these. They're a really good heel height, and I love the squared toe. I think that is super cute and so trendy. For bags, I am bringing my Cult Gaia Arc bag. This is like a necessity for a tropical vacation or for summer. It is not very practical because of, I mean, what, I mean, what kind of a bag is this? And you can see everything inside, but for pictures, it is a must because it is too cute. So I'm gonna bring that. I actually have a dupe for this for like maybe, I think it's like 30 or 40 bucks. This is originally like over a hundred, like for sure. The dupe is literally identical and so much cheaper. So I'm gonna link that one down below for you. Hopefully it's still in stock. And then this one is a bag by Claire V. I've had this straw bag for a couple of years now and it's held up super well for me. And I love the design and it also has a crossbody strap. So I love taking this with me on my vacations. Okay, I am dressed for the wedding. So I thought I would share with you guys my outfit choice for the night because it was kind of hard to figure out what I wanted to wear just because I didn't know how dressy it was so I went with a really simple outfit this is a dress by gal meets glam you can get it off Nordstrom I will link some similar ones below just in case it's a little bit too pricey but it's this really gorgeous flowy um, it's like a satin so I really love it and I'm wearing my Chloe Nile bag and my little um, rock stud flats I wore the flats just because I thought the tone of these shoes matched my hijab really well so um, since I'm late, I'm gonna go ahead and go and I will see you guys a little bit later. Well, hello there. We are in Mexico. Last night, we got home from the wedding at like 11 and we had to leave our house to go to the airport at 2 a.m. So we did not sleep, let's just say. We just checked in at the Viceroy Los Cabos and we've been to Cabo before and we toured this resort the last time we were here. So we knew that we really loved this hotel and that we wanted to be here again. This is just a trip for us to just relax. So I'm gonna create as much content as I can but this is just literally so that we can just unwind and relax a little bit because we haven't had a trip like that in a long time um, but anyways we arrived this morning and got some breakfast and then we took a long nap in the hotel and I just got myself ready and we're gonna go kind of walk around the resort because it's just so beautiful and we're gonna take some pictures and we're gonna go to dinner tonight so I'm gonna end this vlog here because I wanna start a new Mexico vlog, but I just thought I would end it with you guys. On a beautiful note, I'll show you guys my view, and I will see you guys in my next vlog.